So you finally finished watching my volleyball 4.2 playlist. Now the final question is, how the hell do I get good? Well, let me let me tell you how you get good at this game, okay? Step one, subscribe to the channel, because what I'm seeing, well, I've got like 95% of people that are watching that aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in any sort of Roblox content. If you're not interested in Roblox content, I also have another channel dedicated for just other gaming content and other things like that. But now let's actually talk about it. Let's talk about how the hell you get good at this game. What you should do, because honestly, if you, if you just follow my tutorials, it won't necessarily mean you will get good. It, because getting good, a lot of people say, just play the game. Just play the game and you'll get good. When in reality, it's not really just play the game. It's how, how you practice and uh, what kind of training you do in order to get good at this game. So what I first should say is at least learn the fundamentals, right? Learn your positioning first. Learn what role does what. And I, again, I have tutorials for that. You can learn that. You can start there on formations, rotations, all sorts of things. But that's not that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you, you should be practicing a whole lot of different things in order to get good at this game. Because you, if you only practice one thing like serves, for example, for a, for a long ass time, that means you only be good at serves. You won't be useful in things like receives. You won't be useful in things like setting. You won't even be useful in things like spiking. So you need you need to practice every single aspect of the game, not just that one aspect, because otherwise you won't be a good player. You just won't be a good player because that is what volleyball requires out of you as a player. You need to be good at every position because as you rotate around, you end up playing different positions on the court. Uh, so make sure you're practicing everything. Another way to get good is to surround yourself with a with a friendly team. Not make sure they're not toxic, okay? Because if you're surrounding yourselves with toxic teams, then let me tell you that nothing's gonna happen out of it. You're not gonna grow. The people around you aren't gonna grow because no one's having fun with the game. That's what I want you to take away the most, is to have fun with the game. Like, don't take this as a chore, like you're gonna get paid for this as a job, okay? That, that is something unreasonable, and you should go outside to touch grass if you ever feel like that, okay? This should just be, like, a fun hobby for you to pl play around with and mess around with, with people, because it's fun. Because the game is made to be for fun. So again, surround yourself with people that are nice, not with people that are, uh, yeah, not not nice, not necessarily nice to you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, another thing I could say is probably if you feel like you want to go the competitive route with this game because you can, uh, if you want to just get sweaty. Get, get sweaty, get have water dropping off your forehead and all that. Uh, join tournaments, again, but only join the teams that you feel like you enjoy playing with, you have fun playing with. There's no point forcing yourself to play with teams that just don't respect you as a player. Like, that's just... It's very one-sided that way, and it, it, it's just painful. It's painful for you, it's painful for them, it's painful for everyone. So if you are playing competitively... Again, practice as much as you can. Again, remember, this is Roblox at the end of the day, okay? You're not playing volleyball in real life. You're not going to get paid for this if you keep practicing and practicing. So just have fun with it. Have fun with it, even if it's competitively. Just try and be creative. And that actually branches me into our next point. How do you become creative in this game? How, what do you need to do? in order to, you know, become the next top-level player. Well, that's creativity. That's all it 
at the end of the day, bottom this down to, because once you nail down the fundamentals, you can come up with your own mechanics in this game, which is cool, uh, whether it be 4.2 or 4.4, where you and, the, and your teammates around you will be able to pull off crazy things and that may just elevates the fun even more is when you when your team is able to experiment and make things work like that is the most rewarding thing ever um i know because my well not my team but my friend's team that i'm in right now like the jersey i'm wearing is from my friend's team and we were a team that used to experiment a lot like with crazy like you know strategies we used to come up with like the craziest things and seeing them work in matches felt super rewarding. So again, don't feel like you need to stick to the fundamentals either, but you need to get those nailed before you can start messing around on your own and doing your own things because you need the basic idea of how the game works and of how teams work in general if you're trying to play at a high level or even just for fun. So let me wrap up the things I've just said. So surround yourself with nice people, okay? Don't surround yourself with toxic teammates. It will stop you from improving, believe me. Just have fun with the game. Make sure your teammates have fun with the game as well. That is the best way to grow. Another way to grow is to practice your fundamentals. Get all the basics down. Know what you're doing inside of the game. Know kind of what you want to get out of the game as well and make just be aware that it's a game at the end of the day okay just be aware and the last thing is i forgot i forgot what was it it's to be creative be creative have fun with it once you do learn how to play the basic game of volleyball 4.2 uh, that was a mouthful wasn't it it's really basic things but Honestly, like when people to tell you to play more, it's really vague because they don't tell you how to practice and what, like, like give you ideas on what to do to get better. That's just not how it works sometimes because people often tend to repeat the same thing over and over in order to get better. Whereas the people that actually switch it up and actually do all sorts of things, have fun with the game, they st they be creative. Those are the people that are going to get better because they start thinking in a new way as they were before, where it's just brainless grinding of like, uh, serve, um, um, uh, serve, uh, uh, serve. But if you actually start messing around, you go, hoi, hey, hoi. And then the, the serves look cooler, you look cooler, everybody looks cooler, okay? Uh, I didn't mean for this video to actually be this long. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, so, so I'm sorry about that, I guess. But I hope you guys found this video useful in any way, shape or form. Once again, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. We are on the road to 3k, that's unbelievable. And I haven't thanked you guys for even 2.5k, so thank you for all the support that you've been giving me across these videos. Like, I, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I will see all of you in the next video. Peace out.